Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and yeah, happy Monday. Today is actually President's Day, so I have the day off today, which is so exciting. So I wanted to bring you guys along on just like a fun little day in my life where we don't work, we just kind of have a really fun day. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of vlog it for the memories. We only have a couple more weeks here in Florida. Um, if you guys missed the announcement, <laughs> we are moving to Raleigh, North Carolina at the end of March slash like beginning of April, which I'm so excited for. I'm really excited to just like try a new place and I'm super excited to just like explore North Carolina. I've never been. I want to go and see the mountains. I want to go see the beach. I want to go explore Charlotte and just so many things. So if you guys have any recommendations on like anything to do in North Carolina, just let me know because I've never been and I'm literally moving there in, I don't know, I think it's like five weeks. Um, <clears throat> my voice is being really weird, sorry. It's early in the morning. I'm still sipping on my coffee and I haven't even brushed my hair. So I just kind of wanted to start off the vlog. But yeah, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, definitely make sure you subscribe because there's gonna be a ton of content. I'm gonna try to do some moving content for you guys. Obviously, I'm really excited to show you the new apartment. It is so stunning. It's just like, it's a dream. It's like my dream apartment pretty much. And it's it's just so beautiful. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up the vlog camera. It's been a while since I've actually vlogged. I think I've taken about a week off, but you guys wouldn't know because I had some videos scheduled. Um, <clears throat> so it feels weird to pick up the camera again. But today's gonna be like a fun little day. We're gonna head out to the beach soon, bring the pup so she can get tired and just like get her energy out. So we're gonna have a nice beach day. We've actually beached three days in a row so far. So after work on Friday, we went to the beach. Saturday we went to the beach, Sunday we went to the beach, and now today we're going to the beach. This is going to be day number four, so I just figured we have to get as many beach days as we can while we still live in South Florida, because the beaches here are just amazing. I'm going to be so sad to leave them, but I figured we'd go to the beach together today, and then I want to do like a fun like RT DIY project in the afternoon, and I think that's going to be like really fun. So I just wanted to vlog and just, okay, <laughs> breakfast is ready, I'm having an omelette. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to start the vlog off and yeah, just kind of bring you guys along on a fun day where we don't have to work. And those are the best kind of Mondays, the public holiday Mondays. But yeah, I also want to show you one more thing. Put my coffee down. So we actually sold the couch as well. So we pretty much have been like, this is the only room that's like still furnished pretty much because we sold the second um bed in the guest room that's also kind of become like a storage room with boxes and then we sold the couch the other day so we literally have nothing really to sit on other than like our office chairs and stuff like that but let me show you so this is what the room looks like now we literally have no couch it's very empty and it's a little bit echoey in here so yeah current state of the apartment no more couch and this is the guest room so it's still kind of messy but that's fine Stew! Hi! Did you stew, baby? <laughs> so, this is the bathing suit that I'm going to wear today. My new one from 437. I wore it the other day and it's literally the softest material ever. It's so soft and seamless and then it's got like a cute little bandeau top. So that's going to be today's bathing suit. Excited. Perfect day out here today. It's just 
pretty much have the beach almost to ourselves and we're just relaxing with the pup here and it's kind of windy but it's just beautiful it's like literally the best day the best way to start your day and not a bad Monday right puppy okay So we're all done with the beach and we're now on our way to Home Depot. We want to go get some supplies for my little art project. So I think we need some like plaster or joint compound and a couple tools and some paint. So I'll show you guys the whole setup when we get home and like everything that we got. But we're on our way to do that. The beach was really good. It was just so relaxing. There's just something about like sitting and just listening to the waves and it was a good like two hours honey is gonna be so tired she's been digging and just like chewing on sticks and just like enjoying herself at the beach which is good and then we also took a couple photos so i hope we got a good one um jay and i never take photos together so we tried to take some on like the lens buddy app and then jay took a couple of me <laughs> and then we of course I took some of honey as well. So all of us got photos of the beach today, which is nice, so yeah. And then also I've been loving this little tote that I got with my 437 bikini. That's just like a free one that I think comes with every time you like purchase a bikini with them, but it's like the perfect beach tote. We can fit two towels in here, hat, water, sunglasses. Um, it's just a good size. And then for little honey, we have like her little travel um, water bowl so she can stay hydrated but yeah we're on our way to Home Depot and yeah I'm hoping they have everything that we're gonna need for this art project and I'm excited to just I don't know do this I think it'll be fun and creative so I'm excited to get this done so, yeah. excited to see the before and after So this is the art that we're trying to change. Um, Jay's had this for a while, I think since his first ever apartment, and it's from Ikea. There's nothing really wrong with it. I mean, it's just that I feel like everyone has this or had it at some point, but this like Paris Ikea um, photo, but it's like a really nice size um, piece of art. So I do wanna keep it, but the whole thing was that I just was like, it's kind of dark and I feel like it really darkens up the space. And in the new space, I want something a little bit lighter, something that's just gonna warm up the space, just kind of go with the new couch that we're gonna get. And I just feel like this just doesn't do it. So I was gonna say like, we should just sell it. Like we're selling so many things. Um, but then instead I was like, wait, I remember I, <laughs> this being a thing a while ago where people were taking like canvas art or just like old art and just repurposing it and like DIYing it. So the idea I have is to do something like this. So you can see like, like that, like that looks super nice to me, but then obviously that's portrait. And this is a landscape um, one, and I do want to keep it landscape. So I saw this, I got this off Pinterest. My Pinterest is linked below, and I, it's saved to like my house inspo, um, <laughs> whatever it is, my house inspo um, thing that I have. But what I'm going for is something like this. So we went and got some supplies from Home Depot. All in all, the supplies cost us $36. Um, but I think if you got like an old photo frame or just like an old canvas print, um, anything like that would do. You could probably go to Home Goods and even get one there for pretty cheap instead of buying these paintings because these are kind of expensive. Oh yeah, this is the one. <laughs> I was like, which one? We have some white just to touch up some stuff in the apartment, but we got just some paint. It's not a lot of paint at all, so I'm kind of worried. I don't know if it's gonna 
be able to be enough for this whole space but the next size up was really big so i guess if i run out i can always go and grab some more so we got some paint um obviously a paint brush and that's going to be the first step is just to paint this entire thing including the frame and then for the actual like creative part i don't know if it'll be dry enough later today for me to do it or i might have to do it tomorrow after work but i've got some joint compound here this is actually pink and apparently it dries white and then i've got this little thing to like make <laughs> the grooves in it and then one of these just to like spread it on so that's what we're gonna do i'm like really curious to see how this is gonna go i think you can't really at least i think i don't think you can really mess this stuff up because it's supposed to be very abstract and you can really do anything I see lots of people doing like little rainbows and stuff like that but um i wanted to make sure that jay was okay with this one so he um looked at with me at my pinterest and s said that he liked that one more i think because the rainbow even though there's no like rainbow colors it's maybe a little girly and obviously like it's our space so i want to make sure that he likes it as well so i think that's going to be a good pattern for us to go to um yeah and then in terms of paint color um i just wanted to pick something neutral so we had a couple of different options and it's like hard to see but there's all sorts of different neutrals that we could have gone with but i ended up going with roman plaster it's just like a very very neutral color and i know that i watched a video in preparation for this it was Tara Michelle she did one and this was the color she used so I was like okay well I liked her piece it was pretty good so I wanted to be on the safe side so I grabbed this one but there's also tons of other colors out there that looked like it would be really nice but they would just be darker like either more neutral or more brown or more gray and this one against white actually looks really nice so if that's white like that's the color we're going for so yeah, I think I'm going to get started. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. I've got some sheet down um, and my whole reasoning was I want to do this now before we move into the new place because I just don't think we're going to have the space to do it. And right now with having no bed in here, I can kind of like use this as a painting area and Honey's tired and on the bed sleeping. So it's kind of the perfect time. But yeah, let's just get started with it and see how it goes. I'm just going to apply the paint and just kind of um do it a little roughly it doesn't really matter if it's you know adds texture it's okay because it's supposed to be a very textured um print so i'm just going to get started with that and kind of go all over the place and then hopefully that dries and then later today i can actually get to the fun like plastering side so i thought this would be something like fun to just record um i know this was a big thing a couple months ago but i love the idea of it so let's get started <laughs> Good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold. So this is what it looks like after <laughs> a few coats. I feel like it's still dark in some places, but I think I just need to let this dry for a little bit and then we can see if it needs another coat later. I mean, it kind of was a dark painting underneath, but I tried to get everything, including the border. So I think we'll just, you know, give it an hour, give it some time. And then if I need to touch it up some more, I actually have a lot um, of paint left. So <laughs> FYI, even if you're doing a big um, painting like this, you only need a small amount of paint, which is good. But I'm kind of glad we did this because you can see there are some like tears in the canvas. It's hard to see now, but like there and over there 
from when we moved the last time, so it's probably a good thing. Like, selling it would not have been the move, but I'm gonna see what it looks like in a little bit. I was actually just on TikTok as well, just like checking my notifications, but we hit uh, over a thousand the other day, which is so fun. So yeah, recently I've been like doing TikToks and just having fun with it, just like nothing serious, but yeah, so that was really fun. I think I had like 200, like maybe two or three days ago, and now I have a thousand, so now I finally can have a link, which is really fun. So now um, I can link out to all my other different platforms. So if you don't follow me on TikTok, definitely make sure you do. I've been posting like, I'd say three times a day, so I think that's why I've just been growing, which is really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just watching Rachel Rackey's new vlog um, of her in Nashville, and yeah, I'm just kind of chilling. I don't really have anything to do. Like, it's a beautiful day outside, and Jay just went to go work out. But I don't want to run right now because it's like 2 o'clock and it's just way too hot out. So I think I might wait till like 4 p.m. And then obviously I'm waiting for that paint to dry. And we've got a little, a little tired honey girl. I see you in the mirror, baby girl. Yes, hi. <laughs> yes. She always looks so funny after a bath, like extra curly. Hey, baby girl. Did you have a fun beach day? Has it been fun going to the beach every day with mom and dad? She's like, mom, I'm tired. <laughs> she's so cute. I love her so much. She's definitely getting calmer um, now that she's five months old. And also, this is how we've been watching TV at night, which is just like so funny. So we had it like every morning we move it back out there. But at night, since we don't have a couch and I like we don't really feel like sitting on the office chairs, we bring in the table and we put the TV in here. It's actually really nice because one, we're like on the bed, which is so comfortable. And two, the TV just looks huge in this room, which is kind of funny, but. But yeah, just chilling. Definitely got some sun today, like definitely a little bit burnt. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get as much sun and kind of start that summer tan early this year. And yeah, I'm just honestly loving the weather in South Florida right now. I feel like the minute they knew we were leaving, the good weather came. And now I'm like sad about it. But I'm just going to watch some YouTube, chill. Um... And also, I'm having a Celsius. I, do I need a Celsius? No. But Jay drank half of it before he went to the gym. And so instead of wasting it, I'm like, I might as well just drink it. And then hopefully it'll give me energy for a run later. Honey's looking at me through the mirror. She's probably like, Mom, who are you talking to? Mom? <laughs> Mommy, daughter, chill, relaxing time. Let's go. Concrete, it's like a gray concrete tight, which is good because that means it's working. Also, in the last video, I talked about the big life change that I'm making. So, if you didn't see that, make sure you catch up on that. But I have to push it up. If you guys are ever in need of a good snack, this, I kid you not, is my favorite thing right now. We got this on Saturday, and they probably fill the bag to like here, and it's almost all gone, and it's Monday, so. Oops. <laughs> These are literally so good. So they're from Trader Joe's. They're the almond butter almonds. I'm not even that big of an almond butter person like Jay is, but I freaking love these things like if i could eat three bags a week i would they're just so so good it's just literally almonds covered in almond butter but i don't know why i like them so much but if you haven't tried them go to your local trader joe's and get them it's in the nut aisle um it's like the nut and fruit aisle but oh my gosh oh, literally the best thing ever i'm gonna have a couple but there's really not a lot left which is so sad because we have a whole nother week till we go grocery shopping So I just got out of the shower, put my comfy robe on, and yeah, it's definitely a little bit hot to be in this robe, so I'm gonna change into just something comfortable, but since I'm still like getting ready, I'm definitely still like red in the face, but I feel like that's how you know it's a good run, is like you're really red in the face, but it was a good run. I feel like 
I really enjoy runs, especially when I listen to a good playlist. Like, I always listen to, like, throwback songs, like, even things from, like, 2015, 2013. It's, like, around the time where, like, I was graduating high school, like, going into college kind of thing, which was, like, 2014, 2015. And I feel like that was such a fun year, so I love all the songs from that time. And then, obviously, even earlier, even, like... 2010 songs of course like really anything you could do like early 2000s but I feel like it just makes the run so much more enjoyable when like you've got fun good music to listen to and just stuff that you don't hear like every single day but yeah I just did but yeah I just did my skincare routine I feel like running just always clears my skin like I think it just gets like all of those like toxins out of your skin because whenever I come back from a run I find myself just like glowing and my skin is like really like oddly smooth so I feel like running is just like good for everything you know not just fitness and I know like especially for my body type and every everyone is really different so just because you know this works for me it might work differently for you but I feel like in terms of like fitness obviously I see results with running but I don't see a lot of like toning results like I feel like for me and my body like the best way for me to feel like toned and put together is doing weights in the gym but it's not the most fun thing so I don't really do it and I just like I've gone off of it so I'm doing running and again it's not really for like my physical like it's not really for me like physically it's more for me like mentally and just to get out there um but yeah I mean everyone's different so maybe like running is actually good for you and you see results with it. I feel like I don't see results as much or as quickly with running, but I think it's, maybe it's just not, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just different, so that's just like my opinion. But I'm about to try out this new um, like post shower hair oil. This is the Olaplex number no. seven. I feel like everyone uses this and talks about it and I needed a new like hair oil or whatever like whenever you get out the shower to like maintain frizz for heat protection flyaways like that kind of thing I'm pretty sure this can be used like on wet hair um just to prevent frizz and stuff and then obviously as like a styling oil um when you're done like styling your hair as well just to like you know get that frizz down so I just yeah wanted to share with you guys that I picked this up and uh as this you know as I use it I'll let you guys know how I like it but if you use this let me know how you like it but I feel like I see everyone using this so I needed a new one so I decided to pick it up and now I think I'm gonna go just get dressed put something like comfy casual on and then I want to go check on the painting and just see how the paint is drying and if it is dry we can start doing like the joint compound stuff but we'll see I don't know if it'll quite be ready but I want to go change um get out of this like kind of hot robe and see how that's drying okay so ignore my outfit but I'm just in some like old clothes I didn't want to get anything nice dirty so I'm in some like old Lulu shorts and just this old t-shirt from Princess Polly but this is officially all dry so yeah, you can still see, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there is still a big mark. So I'm gonna have to see if I can cover that up. Otherwise it's, I'm sure once it's hanging, you won't really see it because I didn't even notice the old one, but I think it is time to start with this um, joint compound. So this goes on pink and it's supposed to dry white, which does make me a little nervous. And I hope I like the pattern that we chose. It's actually going to be a little bit harder to do than what I originally thought because I should have grabbed a smaller like thing than this but actually I guess I could use like this part of it so I can do like multiple different waves but I'm not going to lie I'm a little nervous to like apply this because yeah we'll see. And then I think I'm going to start from the edges and start like applying it this way and then build it to the middle because I don't want to like start it like in the middle I think and then realize that I've like gone too far into the middle if that makes sense and again what I'm trying to do if you guys can see that gentle because I can hear this like scraping on the paint and I don't want to just like 
destroy the coat that I've done. Like, hear that scrape? It's like really bad. And I think this probably dries kind of quickly. So I don't know if I need to like do it in sections. looking like it honestly doesn't look too bad from afar I think once it dries it's actually gonna look really good like definitely the paint started coming up over there which either will look good when it dries or I might have to like go over with a little bit of paint and just touch it up but I'm gonna try to do this side and hopefully I can do it with the amount of like um, stuff I have left so I don't know I think it'll look good um, I'm just excited to see it once it's like fully dried so here's the finished result. It's like super texturized. There's definitely a lot of mistakes. Like the paint has definitely come through on a couple spots around, but we'll see how it looks when it dries. I hope it kind of dries quickly and then I can see what it looks like tonight, but I'm pretty much completely finished of all um, of the joint compound over there. But I think it looks like decently good. I think if I really need to, I can get some more and like make this part a little thinner but I think it's okay that it's like not perfect but I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like when it's dry and I think this will definitely look good in the new place and then even what I might do like you can see very clearly this scratch like I might even like go back in with more paint and like texturize this area more because I do have more paint um, so we'll see once it dries and then we can make <laughs> the coal on that. Hello everyone, so it is the next day and I wanted to show you the art piece now that it is all dry. It is not the most perfect thing, um, so let me just state that. And I need some serious help, so please comment below and just let me know what I should do because I'm honestly just like so unsure right now, but let me just show you. So this is the finished product. It doesn't look awful if I'm gonna be honest like it definitely isn't like what I had pictured I think honestly like running out of that like joint compound was not ideal like this is my favorite side I love the right side of it but the left side is just kind of thin it's not as like textured and honestly it needed to come a little further out in the painting and I think it would have looked better but I just don't know what to do. So I'm gonna pop a photo up of what the inspiration should be, but what do I do? Do I paint the whole thing or do I just leave it be? Do I paint it so that it's all this color and then it's just kind of one color and you see a little bit of, um, and then you just see some texture on the side or do I leave it like this with some contrast? Or do you guys honestly think maybe I need to pick up more joint compound and like add to it or like redo this section? Please just let me know. I am so unsure. We had it hung up um, and everything this morning and I'm just, just feeling unsure and I was literally just about to start painting again. Like I already was touching up bits here um, and then I stopped myself because I was like, wait, I need someone other than a boy in my life to tell me what I need to do. Um, but please let me know your thoughts. So yeah, comment below what I should do. Do I paint it, get some more plaster or joint compound or leave it as? So those are the three options. So yeah, I think other than that, I'm going to end the vlog off here. It definitely was a little bit longer than I thought. I didn't realize this was gonna be like a 30 minute vlog. It was just supposed to be like a fun little day in my life about going to the beach and doing this art project. Um, but honestly, it isn't terrible. I think it's still better than what we had before because at least this is like 
neutral and I think if you like hang it up and you look at it from like afar it's just like a textured cool art piece and maybe people wouldn't know that I made it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you guys can be honest in the in the comments I literally won't be offended um but it was fun to do I must admit like the whole process of it was kind of fun but I hope you enjoyed today's vlog I'm not gonna drag this on any longer but if you guys are new here definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe for more videos and obviously all the moving vlogs to come and yeah I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone <music>